Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. Today I am bringing you the January 2015 Baker's Crate unboxing and review. Baker's Crate is a subscription service based out of Winnipeg, Manitoba here in Canada that ships out gourmet treats every month and I tell ya, I love unboxing this subscription box because the treats are always so delicious and indulgent and yummy. And big news from Baker's Crate, previously they were just shipping within Canada, but now they're actually gonna start shipping within the US. And they do have um, an Indiegogo crowdfunding campaign to help that along, where you can uh, you can donate money, but you can also pre-purchase subscriptions. So um, like one month box or three month, six month, 12 month subscriptions through their campaign um, in both Canada and the US. So you get in on subscription service, plus you help um, fund their expansion to ship to the US customers. So if you're in the US, great news, you can now get your own Baker's Crate starting in March. So I'll put all the information along with the link to the Indiegogo campaign below. Anyway, let's see what's in the January box. So here's our first look. I love how they include that wooden fork. It's just such a nice detail, such a nice addition to the box. So. In all of the boxes, we have a product card, which gives you the best before dates for the goodies, which is such a good idea since this is coming in the mail. And um, I always find that I always have more than enough time to eat them all. And if something's gonna go bad before the date, then I just stick it in the freezer so I have treats at the ready. They also include an ingredient list for those of you who may have allergens. Um, I don't have to worry about those things, but for those of you who might have to, it's a great addition. Here's our first look. See, everything's packaged really nicely in the bubble wrap. The first thing I'm taking out, there's two of the same thing. This is peanut butter cherry. Oh my, I've never had anything like that before. It says that this is the perfect blend of chocolate, cherry, and peanut butter all rolled up into a ball. A truly delightful treat for all ages. Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna try this one just because I see something else in the box I wanna try more. And I did just work out, so I don't wanna indulge in all the sugar and completely write off my workout. Next thing we have is this uh, classic date square. And um, it says that it has delicious puree date sandwich between two layers of buttery oatmeal crumb crust. Oh my, it's from Goody's Bake Shop. Oh, the peanut butter cherry balls were from Desserts Plus in Winnipeg. These are all from Winnipeg um, bakeries. Um, a date square it reminds me so much of my family in Newfoundland because date square is for those uh, other maritimers and uh, Newfoundlanders out there especially you know that this is a big um, dessert in Newfoundland. I think it's one of those things that was really popular probably back when my dad was growing up like in the 50s and 60s um, because all of my family that's within that generation just love date squares so I love them too. I'm looking forward to trying this. Ooh, next we have it's called a Florentine slice on here. It says that this is a Florentine bar and this is also from Goody's Bake Shop and um, this is a colorful mixture of fruits and nuts makes for a festive presentation atop rich shortbread. Oh my, I love shortbread. I've never tried a Florentine slice before, but definitely looking forward to trying this. Next, you guys, check out the size of this cookie. Holy cow. This is a chocolate chunk cookie, and this is also obviously from Goody's Bake Shop. And it says that this is has rich chocolate chips and fresh baked cookie dough. Yum, so this is massive. Um, I will admit that cookies are my kryptonite. <laughs> Full disclosure. So I'm gonna try this one right now. So here's a close up. Do you see how big that chunk is? That's a huge chocolate chunk. And you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that when I take pictures of the Baker's Crate boxes to post on Instagram to let you guys know that a video has been posted, there's always a dessert or two <laughs> that's just either the wrapper or in pieces because I always sample them in the videos. I just can't wait. Mm. This is a very good chocolate chip cookie. Very happy camper. Mm. That cookie was delicious. Crunchy but chew at the same time. All those big chocolate chunks. A plus. The last thing in the baker's crate this month is this cake in a jar. Oh my. This, I think, is the third one that we've got in the box, and these are quickly becoming my favorite things to get in the mail, quite frankly. This one is a marble mocha cake jar, and it's a marble cake base layered with a delightful mocha icing with a hint of coffee. 
exciting it says yes it is exciting um, these are such a good idea and now I'm starting to collect these jars <laughs> from the last couple of months because they're great little reusable mason jars um, I was just gonna try the cookie but you know what I think we're gonna have to test this out just to see how it is I'm gonna use the wooden fork from inside the box so here's a close-up shot you see that it has the layers of cake along with the layers of icing. Oh, such a good idea to have these in a jar. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. You guys, this is so good. So it does taste like mocha. So there is like a uh, coffee undertone along with chocolate in it. I think it's just coffee icing. So if you don't like the taste of coffee, you might like, you might not like this one as much. Last month we got uh, a chocolate mint one. The month before that was red velvet. Man, they're so good. Anyway. I just noticed on the product card that, that this says it's cake flavor of the month. So does that mean we're gonna get one every single month? Because if so, that would be very exciting. So that is the January Baker's Crate. Um, there were six items in this box, which I think is a great value. These boxes are $20 a month plus $9 shipping, I believe. All that information is below for you. Um, but anything like cake in a jar, or these squares, or the big cookie, or the little, uh, cherry peanut butter balls all of this stuff I feel like you'd pay um, well maybe for this would be like two or three dollars but for these they're usually like three or four bucks each so once you have these really nice items that get sent to you if you're gonna counter in the cost I do think it's um, a good value box it's not like the highest value subscription box out there but you get goodies sent right to your door and I feel like it's a great idea for like a gift to let someone know you're thinking about them or you know for a birthday gift it's just a really nice gesture to get sweets in the mail I think or if you want to keep them all for yourself or share with coworkers like I do so I don't eat them all myself so let me know what you think about Baker's Crate below do you subscribe what's your favorite goodies as always thanks so much for watching talk to you soon